Good morning, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Cusco, Peru, in the Andes Mountains. This is a gorgeous city, and one of the most common foods, one, it's a delicacy, people love to eat it, especially in the Andes, is a guinea pig, which locally is known as cuy. And so today we are gonna go on a cuy tour ultimate tour of Cusco and the surrounding areas. We're gonna begin at the market with like a takeaway version. Then we're gonna drive to a place called Tipon, which is very famous throughout this region for their cuy. And then we're gonna come back to Cusco and eat what is one of um, our driver and our friend Edgar, he says is the best cuy in Cusco. So that's the plan for the day. And I'm gonna share all of the food, all of the cuy with you in this video. <laughs> the market is just spectacular. The produce, the colors, the vibrancy. It's it's absolutely incredible. So as we approach the market, on the outside of the market especially, there's you'll see both uncooked, uh, ready to be roasted, as well as some pre-roasted, ready to eat koi. Uh, so we're just gonna walk around, we're gonna check our options. Oh yeah, right at the entrance of the market. Oh, she has a big bag. Yeah. What's in bottles? Hundreds of these. Um, she has this amazing pile of Andean herbs and like even vegetables looking and even grains um, Which is called it's it's mate, which is just the tea, but it's her own blend. I'm gonna start with this to To get the system going before the koi. Oh wow, that's That's wonderful slightly. It's actually very light very smooth just with a, like a hint of bitterness it almost has like a bean sprout taste to it and then served just like lukewarm, really like healthy tasting. Well, uh, I like okay. this. this okay, yeah. well, what do you think? Yes. Which I would you recommend think? this because it's roasted, you know? It like doesn't this one. Have, yeah, like this, this one? is a good one. Right outside of the market, we found a lady. She has an entire paper bag which she just brought from home roasted kui. It's al horno, so they're like baked in a kui oven. And she said it's a very plato typico de los Incas, the very typical plate of the Incas and of the entire Andean mountain region. It's a staple, it's a delicacy, it's a very, very important protein meat necessity in this region of Peru, in this region of the world of the Andes mountains. And we are gonna have our first taste. This herb, this herb gives the good taste. Yeah, I'm What's amazing is that like as soon as she opened that up, as soon as she cut that up, you could smell the herbs stuffed with wakatai, which is, uh, I believe it's a Peruvian mint, it's an herb, it's a fragrant herb. You don't eat the herb, but that's what it's stuffed with to give the meat the fragrance when it's roasted. Yeah, yeah sure, let's have a rocoto relleno. Gracias. Gracias. She said it was extra fresh. We got the potatoes. Perfecto. It smells so good. You could smell that herb. You could smell like almost a little bit of like a, a cumin y aroma to it. Which piece would you like? I think I might Man. go for the hind leg. The skin. That meat. And that meat looks like it looks like dark meat, dark meat chicken. It looks incredible, but oh, yeah. with that skin. The skin looks delicious. Look at that skin. Actually, this is the front leg, not the hind. These are the, because oh. these are the hind legs. Beautifully blistered skin. It obviously really holds up to the heat. Like, it really does look like pork skin. Yeah. And then you can see on the inside there how it's, it was stuffed with the herb out. How it's just like crusted in the, the herb still, and you can see that on the insides. That skin though, that meat. First bite of kui, this is the market kui takeaway experience. <laughs> We're gonna go to other restaurants later, but this is the this is the the takeaway just prepared version. Awesome. It smells so good, I can't wait any longer. <laughs> 
Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that meat. And that rub. The skin is like a little blubbery. Mm. But the meat inside, it's so flavorful. It's like succulent, like really dark meat, almost like pigeon, like really dark poultry. But then that herb, mm -hmm. like, Stuffing that like gives all the meat like kind of a uh, slightly lemony almost mm -hmm. Minty taste yeah, to it. it. I'm gonna reach in for that drumstick. Oh Man the hind leg drumstick Dude look Some of the skin isn't as crunchy as it once was but then the other pieces of the skin are so crunchy. Okay, Dude, those crunchy knuckle bits are incredible. This is kind of like the, the, could be like the thigh. Oh, there's some hairs on it still too. It's so succulent, it's almost cheesy, the meat part. Yeah, mm -hmm. meat. Petna, my God, How is it? Very good. Are these like roasted mm. potatoes also? Yes. Okay. A little bit dry, but it goes well with it. And just the potatoes in Peru are so unbelievably good. We're gonna move on. I want to try the the um, rocoto relleno, the stuffed rocoto chili. Oh wow, that's extraordinary. The pepper is sweet, not really spicy because I think they take out the seeds and they might give it a process to remove the spiciness. But inside is like a mixture of minced meat and it tastes like carrot. Then with this like crispy batter bready material around it. That's extraordinary. Wow, okay, we got some more meat. I think this might be the heart. It's like a half a heart. Wow, very firm, very, very rich, very like condensed. And we got one final piece. I think this is the, oh, there's a paw. <laughs> what a powerful, pungent, delicious, extraordinary herb that pairs so well with meat. Um, yeah, wow. And we just all split one kui because we have a lot more kui. <laughs> to come. We've got about a 45 minute drive to go to Tipon, which is, it's, uh, they're, they're known for their guinea pig there. Mountains on either side, the green landscapes, the the terraces, the the mountains, the farms, and then houses going up the side of the hills of the mountains. It's yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful drive. I'm glad we get to go a little ways out of town. Welcome to Tipon. That was just about a 30-minute drive, but it was a beautiful drive. And immediately as you arrive here, we actually did a couple loops around the city. It's very small, but there has to be like at least a dozen, maybe two dozen cuyerias, cuy restaurants, uh, big and small, and then even their entire welcome to the city. It says Bienvenidos a Tipon, and it says like home of the best, most delicious, El Rico, the Rico Cuy al Horno, the capital of the best uh, cuy baked in the oven. Oh, yeah. Look at that skin. That's yeah. Look at that skin. Yeah. Also, she, said, uh, she said, buy, for, buy two for me, I will prepare chicken for your son too. Cuyeria Monica. Cuyeria Monica. Gracias. And then she has some of the cuis already prepared, but the, when you order it, they're like, they're for the most part roasted, but when you order it, you gotta put it back into the oven. This is an entire mud brick oven with the fire going. Oh man. Okay. 
pasta? Ah, sí, pasta tallarín. So this man, he is a very wise man. He, they were driving past in a truck, that's like a transport truck, and immediately ran to this stall and immediately ordered a kui and some pasta to go. They are ordering right now. I think we, we came to the right place. You can kind of choose your own kui, depending on how you like the look of it, depending on which one looks good to you. Uh, but then once you order, then she takes it, she puts it back into the oven, lets it sit next to the fire so that it gives it that final roast, that final like smoldering, and you can feel it heating up. You can smell the aroma again of the herb, of the skin crispifying. And then she set us a table out here next to the oven. Oh, we can dine oven side. It's really working our kui in the oven and she puts everything in there, even the pasta and potatoes, they're all cooked in the oven. But you can actually hear the kui, the skin pop and it just like pops like a pea, like a kernel of popcorn. Oh, that skin. And for appetizer, as we're waiting for the kui to be roasted, it's choclo, which is the big kernels, giant kernels of corn with cheese. Choclo con queso. So wonderful. Oh, here comes the kui. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, this is. Oh, this is. Oh, this is. Oh, this is. Ready to eat. Ready to eat. Ready to eat. Papas. Las papas son. Oh man, those are beautiful. The entire place she added pasta, she added potatoes, she added the rocoto chili stuffed, and then the entire cuy on top. Um, and then she brought it to our table. Now she's gonna chop them up. Hermelinda. Es el sabor de ese huacatay, en la hierba. Huacata. Huacatay, ajo cominos. Nada más. Ya, servido. Gracias, muchas gracias. And Monica said we have to eat it while it's hot and fresh right out of the oven. Wakatai is just like filling this entire little parking lot. That is some eating music too. Yeah. I'm gonna go for that hind leg section first. Look at that skin, the way it's blistered and how she gave it that finishing touch to finish off the crunchiness of that skin. This is like the entire thigh combo. And again, oh man, the fragrance of it is just irresistible. <laughs> Oh, wow! Dude, like that skin because it's so fresh out of the oven is so crispy, like oily, moist, and so succulent. And then the meat, the saltiness, the blistery texture of that, that is unbelievably tasty. Like you won't even believe it. Dude, that meat, it's so soft and tender. And like, it is like very dark meat, poultry. Or kind of like, yeah, that, that's what it could be compared to because of the succulence of it. But then it's even more concentrated, more succulent, more flavorful. Very good. Muy rico. Muy rico. Muy rico. Yeah. Muy, muy rico. Mm -hmm. Look at the bubbles on that thigh. I'm in awe of the, the herb complexity. That is mind-blowingly good. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Dude. And it's also, look, despite it feeling a little bit oily, what's amazing about kui is also it's very healthy. It's very high in protein and very low in cholesterol. Um, and so it's a, 
It's just like pureness. Ready for a rocotto? Mm-hmm. Seriously? Okay, so a rocotto chili is actually what this, I'm looking forward to trying this too, which we already had in the morning as well. But a rocotto chili, it's native to this region, to the Andes, to the mountains of South America in Peru. Um, and it's very important in the food in this region as well for flavoring for different dishes. But it's known to be a very, very spicy chili. Um, and it almost looks like a tomato. And then one of the common things is that they stuff it, but they take out the seeds. They even do a like process of boiling it to get out the spiciness. But we've got some fresh ones that we need to try. Oh, you know, at the beginning, it's not, it's not spicy. It's more like, almost like a, a bell pepper with a little bit of a kick, but not like overly spicy, but it's sweet. Dark and shiny seeds down in there. Yeah, the seeds are like really dark. Go for the top. Okay, <laughs> I got some seeds in there. Okay, now you can see those dark <laughs> seeds. It should be a lot spicier with those seeds. Really? Oh, oh my God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's spicy. It's coming. Oh, yeah. <gasps> no, no, I won't do it. No, no. I need to drive, my friend. I need to drive. I need to drive. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh dude, here we go. Wow, the seeds, dude. Oh man, immediately like, actually it takes a little bit of time because it's so sweet and juicy at first. That's spicy. I can feel my tongue like, but starting it, to like, bubble like the koi skin. But it explodes with juiciness, really. Ah, but the flavor's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow, what flavor. Okay, I need to chase that with some more quiz. Next leg. Here. Okay, I'm gonna move in for some of that pasta. Is that with egg? Yes. Mm. Maybe cheese? Mmm. cheese. It's egg. Very, very kind of simple tasting. With the, uh, but again, cooked in the, the oven. Muy picante. Muy picante. Okay, I'm gonna try the next rocotto, which is stuffed with cheese and other things. Mm. Oh, it's so good. It tastes like a cream of carrots stuffed into a, like, blistered smoky chili with cheese, like crunchy cheese on the top. Mm-hmm. The carrots are so sweet in there. The Andes carrots. Like they just melt in your mouth. Okay, potato. Well, potatoes are native. Potatoes are are vital. Mm. Oh, that potato is amazing. Like it is dry and crumbly on the inside, but it's so flavorful. And then the way that skin snaps and the way it's been cooked in the oven, really good. And then my next piece of kui, you can see that bubbly skin, which I've been I've been saving. Dude, that skin, especially when it's freshly, like, blistered, like it's irresistible. Yeah. Sorry, cheers. We oh, had cheers. The crispy skin on the outside. Mm. Anis. Si. Salud. Salud, Mark. Salud. Uh, she said that we gotta take a shot of it's an anise liquor spirit for the digestion because kui is uh, it's very rich. Despite it being healthy and protein and uh, low in cholesterol, it's still very rich and oily. Oh wow, muy bueno. That's gonna help to digest that kui before the next one. But blown away by the skin, by the flavor. I love this little spot, sitting at the table with the oven, with, uh, her name is Monica. She's amazing, she's so cool, she's taking care of us. Okay. Okay. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Gracias a usted.
drove back to Cusco. We're in the heart of the city, but now we're going up onto a hill, one of the hills surrounding uh, the city. And this is where the location of the next Cuyeria Cuy restaurant is, which uh, Edgar says he recommended it as the best place, the place he goes for Cuy. Location number three, and that was an amazing drive again up to the top of the hill, up to the top of the mountain. The view, we'll try to get a view of the of Cusco below, but spectacular view. This is a huge Cuyeria establishment. It looks like four stories of Cuy. Edgar, what is the name of this place? Moquehuano. Moquehuano. Wow. So this is a short one. Okay, packed. Right, packed every day, yeah? I said this is still early. He said usually the line goes down the stairs. Down the stairs? Wow. Hola, quiero una de al horna y una cuy chactado, por favor. So you actually order and pay at the front before you sit down. And they only have two different plates, two versions that you can get al horno, which is in the oven, and chactado, which is deep fried, I believe. We got one of each. I think Joel and uh, Edgar got got a table upstairs while I was paying. Oh yeah, they do have some seats upstairs, nice. And just seconds after we sat down, this entire room has just filled up with families ready to eat Sunday afternoon kui guinea pig lunch. It's such a, what I love not only about the kui, I mean not only the flavor, but I love the social aspect of it. It's such an important part of culture. It's such a family meal. Kui area number three. Salud. <laughs> That aroma, the wakatai, the crispy skin. We got two different versions. The al horno, which is baked in the same oven which we've had already before. Uh, but this guy is huge. And like that crispy skin, again, the perfect golden. You see the marinade just like oozing out of the meat. The rocato relleno is there. And then also what's unique about this plate is it's also served with a sausage made from the, is it made from the intestines or the? From the intestines of the guinea pig as well, which is kind of like a, that looks unique. And we also got the deep fried chactado version, which is deep fried, which is more like butterfly cut. Look at this, this guy. Okay, how do we dig into this? Oh, oh the crunch with a table knife. Oh, wow, that crunch, that skin. It does look like a wingsuit. Oh, and it looks like it's just completely crispified. Dude. Oh my Dude, god. The bubbly, crispy skin. Salud. Mm. Salud. Mm. Salud. I was too excited, sorry. Cheers. Salud. Cheers. <laughs> oh, wow. You can never go back to fried chicken. It's so crispy. It's so oily, succulent. I cannot get past the richness of it. With some of that ahi on it. Oh. That skin, then with the ahi, just not quite as meaty as chicken, but like the flavor, the skin. Wow. Follow that with a potato. Mention that this is one of our white alive. We've had a few of these rellenos today as well. <laughs> oh, look at that! There's meat in this one and peas. This is something I learned today is that kui uh, is always eaten with a ricotta relleno. Oh yeah. Okay, this one is the best one. I think there's like onions, the chili, it's like mostly onions in there with minced meat, peas and carrots, and then just encased and deep fried. Oh man. Stuffed chili is remarkable. Okay. 
We've got some sausage to try. Oh wow, that's like a guinea pig blood sausage. Oh, oh there's potato inside too. <laughs> yes. Okay, guys. So the outside is it's wrapped in the intestines of the of the guinea pig, but then stuffed inside is potato, and there's got to be some blood in there to give it that to like hold it together to keep it that dark color. You can smell the Peruvian mint in there as well. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. It has that Peruvian mint taste. Kind of like a very mild coriander mixed with mint. It's like surprisingly not even not even irony tasting. Okay. We've got one more guinea pig koi to eat. I choose this as more. Oh it's just falling apart. That just kind of stuck to my chin. <laughs> I love the wakatai in there. That is the highlight. This is the perfect place to end this ultimate Kui guinea pig tour of Cusco, overlooking Cusco. That is the old city down below, uh, but just a spectacular view. This is the same view from the restaurant. So I will have all three locations, all three places in the description box below. You can check them out. And man, when you are in Cusco, when you're in Peru, make sure you try Cuy. It's just sensationally delicious. And most of the ones we had were the Al Horno uh, baked, but that deep fried one, oh, I'm not gonna say it's better, but it was different and like, like you just can't go back to fried chicken. That's too, too good. Okay, fried chicken is good too though. I'll have a link also in the description box with a link to the playlist of all the videos from this Peru trip. It's been an amazing trip to Peru. The food, the culture of eating, the food is so good in Peru. Uh, so be sure to watch all the videos and I wanna say a big thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon that way you'll get notified of the next video that I publish. Goodbye from Cusco. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.